All right, let's be honest. If the American dream is to own a home, an even bigger dream for some people is to own a second vacation home. It is a big dream, uh, especially now when we're feeling penned up, penned in by the same four walls. Wouldn't it be nice to have a place to escape that's mm -hmm. all your own? Yes. So our question is, is now a good time to buy? And what do we need to consider about owning a vacation home? So real estate listing expert Bonnie Loria is here to help us figure it all out. And Bonnie, I, we, we've seen what's been going on with the interest rate. So is this a good time to buy a vacation home? This is a great time to buy a vacation home. Uh, interest rates are super low. People are refinancing their primary residence and they can use the cash that they get from that to either put a down payment on the second home or to purchase it outright. You know, and people working remotely, yeah. I mean, it kind of expands everyone's horizon. Like, I don't have to work in Pittsburgh. I could be working at a house on the beach somewhere, right, right Bonnie? That's absolutely true. Working from home could be from your second home, and you're absolutely right. You could be looking at the beach. You could be looking at the ski slopes. It's awesome. Well, and you know, too, like when people take regular vacations, you're spending a lot of money. So that could mm -hmm. be money that you're reinvesting into something that you would then own and have that, that you know, to that income. It's property. an investment. Yeah, it's yeah. an investment property. Thank you. Um, so what are some things to consider when you're purchasing a vacation home, Bonnie? Well, one of the things is if you're going to um, get a loan for a vacation home, you want to speak with your lender. Presently, the minimum that you would put down would be 10%. Most people do 20%. Interest rates can go anywhere from 2.875 to a 30-year. Um, I spoke to my good friend George Hackett at Guaranteed Rate. He said that their 30-year um, was 2.875, a, a 15 years 2.25. So those are great interest rates on second homes. And you need to um, you know, talk to the lender and let them know if you're just going to use it for personal use or if you think you might rent it out to defray some of the costs. And then they can tell you what the limitations are on that. Oh, interesting. Uh, yeah, and let, let's talk about picking the home because obviously it has to be some place you like to go yourself and right. you want to continue going to. And location is so much a part of it, especially if you're going to rent it out, right? Absolutely. People get vacation homes for all different reasons. Sometimes, um, you know, location is the most important thing. Sometimes it's to be near activities that they love, like fishing or the beach or skiing. Sometimes they'll uh, buy a vacation home or second home to be closer to their family. And sometimes people will purchase a vacation home and eventually when they retire, it will become their primary residence. Yeah, and we're looking at, a, at some beautiful homes at Seven Springs. Holy well, cow, this nice. would be a great little escape not too far away. Yeah. Although I don't know if you'd be able to escape right now with all the snow that you've well, seen lately. <laughs> yeah. um, and so let's talk about what you should be thinking about about your own income. Like, How do you know if you're financially ready to do it? Well, I would um, talk to your accountant, your tax accountant, and talk about what your goals are. And they can help you um, figure out you know, payment schedule, even pricing and things like that, and what the tax implications might be for owning a second home. If you end up renting the second home for the time that you're not staying there, you can use different websites like VBRO or Airbnb.com, and you can advertise your properties there, and then you can rent them out you know, for evenings or weeks or, or special occasions. But you always need to talk to your accountant um, what that implication would make on your income and your taxes. Yeah, and let's talk about renting it out because that's really the trick yeah. to making, for some families, making any of this affordable at all. And, you know, I think at the beginning of the pandemic, we heard that people were not doing as well renting out homes. And then by the end, people viewed it as a safer thing to do. Uh, to, but there's yeah. a lot involved in renting it out, right? Like you have to, you're the one who gets the phone call, perhaps, that the furnace isn't working, right? I mean, there's a lot to consider. There is a lot to consider as with anything else, you're going to want to have an emergency fund in case you know you have to do something with the furnace or if you have to fix the hot water tank. So you want to make sure that you establish an emergency fund for situations like that and that'll take um, you know some of the pressure off you. You know, I think about a beach home. Like when I think if, if right. I could right. afford it, that's where I would be is at the beach. Me too. But for a <laughs> lot of people in, in southwestern Pennsylvania, the second vacation home is like the camp. A you know, cabin somewhere, right? A cabin right? or, you know, some sort of trailer or something at a lake or a little community. Are you seeing a lot of that, Bonnie? 
we are we are seeing people make vacation decisions all over. Um, someone that I know is looking to he's he's going to be retiring in the next few years. He's buying a place in Florida. I have some other um, friends of mine that are looking to buy places in close by at like Sheet Lake or something uh, some places like that. So you know, people are making decisions based on what their lifestyle is. Yeah. And it really depends on um, what your lifestyle is, what you want to do. And that's really going to play a large part in your vacation home selection. It's a lot of fun. I do recommend that if you're looking to purchase a vacation home, you need to speak with a real estate agent in that area. You need to, you know, get an agent. Um, if you have a real estate agent here, they can help refer you and then they can help you find the right vacation home. And there's one other thing I wanted to mention too. If you are intending to rent out the vacation home, you need to find out what the restrictions are for that area, I not know. just for the development, but sometimes a borough or a township will have restrictions on rentals. So it's very important to become educated before you purchase. Oh, good to know. Yeah, all good advice. Thank you, Bonnie, we appreciate it. You bet, have a great day, and I hope you guys find the perfect vacation homes. Aww, <laughs> Thank <fun>. you, thanks. <laughs> All right, and thanks to Bonnie Loya for presenting today's good advice and for presenting the Bonnie and Buddy segments right here on PTL.